Next up, I'll just bring this out of the way, the one Hall of Fame inductee this year that I agree with 100% is the Dudley Boys because that tag team is our version of the Road Warriors. And by our version, I mean like fans who grew up watching Attitude Era, ECW, and then into the Ruthless Aggression Era, WWE, shortly thereafter. Uh, these guys won tag team belts wherever they went, whether it was ECW, WWE, TNA, um, Japan, you name it. Uh, this, their, they got their names throughout uh, and pretty much took what was supposed to be a comedy gimmick in ECW and made it the most hated gimmick in the, uh, in the business at one time. And then, you know, just one of the most over acts WWE has ever had. So much to the point that, you know, if you bring those guys in for like a rumble in Philly or something like that, and we've seen it in the past, they get the biggest pop of the night. Like they just go, boom. And they still to this day contribute so much to their business, to the business, just because they both are running a uh, wrestling school in Florida and that stuff that's trained some pretty big names, some names that you've probably heard and seen on the indies so far and that stuff uh i think the first one i remember seeing was leva bates on mm -hmm. shimmer cards and then later on in nxt and that stuff um yeah so it's man it is good and great to see them in and that's the one name that i agree with going into the hall of fame this year no absolutely names, absolutely absolutely um both of them had uh, great tag team success they're part of the uh first couple TLC matches, mm. which put all six of those guys over. Um, they've won titles, ECW, WWE, WWF, uh, New Japan, um, TNA. Um, and then it also, uh, Bubba has had individual success in other promotions like Ring of Honor and House of Hardcore. Mm -hmm. Absolutely, for sure. So good to see those guys in, and I'm sure that'll be good.